Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author, Dr. Friedemann Schaub from Empowerment Radio as he addresses some of the most prevailing challenges in our day-to-day lives. Find out how you can use the power of your mind to overcome self-sabotaging patterns and build a solid foundation of confidence and self-respect. Learn cutting edge tools and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. This is the time to empower yourself. Now, here's your host, Dr. Friedemann Schaub. Welcome, welcome to Empowerment Radio. I am your host, Dr. Friedemann Schaub, how she says it so beautifully, and Friedemann Schaub. (laughs) And I welcome you to this hour of empowerment where we are tackling important daily issues that somehow make us feel maybe more anxious, smaller, maybe make us feel powerless and stuck. And one by one, we are addressing those issues and finding breakthrough solutions for them. And so today we are tackling a big one, which is procrastination. To do or not to do. Now, if you have any problems with procrastination or you have any questions about anyone who has issues with procrastination, why don't you call at 888-418-6890. Again, that's 888-418-6890. Or just ask a question in the chat box on the website, Transformation Talk Radio and then we will address whatever questions or insights you have gained about procrastination. Now let's first find out, are you a procrastinator? What do you do when you are dealing with a deadline? For example, let's say getting the taxes done or a project at work or buying a gift for your mom. Are you waiting for the last minute? Or are you just in general putting the head in the sand and you don't want to think about it? Are you cleaning the refrigerator or declutter the garage so you do the right things, just not for the right reasons? That's what I used to do whenever I was having to study for my exams in medical school. I was usually having a very, very clean house because somehow I was a master in procrastination. If you find yourself looking at your list of intentions for this week, maybe you don't have a list, maybe you don't have a list, but if you think about that, you may have had uh, already ideas of what you want to get accomplished and you had all those good ideas and intentions and like going to the gym, call your parents, maybe get a head start with work. But now at the end of the day, you find, no, nothing got done. We are midway through and you still haven't checked anything on, uh, off, (laughs) not on. Chances are you are a procrastinator. And what I wonder, and this is something to let you off the hook, are we all procrastinators? Are we just creating more and more a society of procrastinators? Now you may say, no, no, I'm not a procrastinator because I'm totally busy. I'm working all the time, so I'm not procrastinating. Well, guess what? You can be a procrastinator, but you may be a procrastinator who is covering up your procrastination by being very busy. And we get to this in a moment. Why I'm wondering if our society is becoming more and more into the habit of procrastination is that one of the hallmarks of procrastination is to look for distraction and instant gratification. And maybe this is exactly what we're doing more and more. I mean, looking back at when I grew up, it certainly changed in many ways how easily we can distract ourselves, how easily we can spend our time with things that make us feel comfortable and happy without really having to take responsibility for ourselves, our relationship or our lives. You know, why is it that we have 200 channels on TV? Why is there every day now a sports event where in the past it was only on the weekends? Why does McDonald offer now 
breakfast all day long? And why do tablets and, and smartphones become our best friends? Why is it that we are not really looking for engagement in life, but more for distraction? Is it because we don't want to face our lives, our problems, our challenges, our opportunities? Is it that we don't want to face ourselves? So when you think about it, have you been procrastinating to really get your life to the next level? Have you been procrastinating to get your health really back on track? Have you been procrastinating about your relationships? Maybe you know that you know not really uh, in good terms with your spouse or with your family, or maybe there's something about a friend that you know he's really struggling, but somehow you don't go there. You don't want to connect. You don't feel like that you're ready or you have all these excuses and all these reasons why not. So when you think about how procrastination has affected your life, how you may have put your dreams on hold, how you may have not really allowed yourself to have what you want, you may find out that procrastination may be a bigger issue than you have realized. And this is the chance, this is the moment where you may learn to understand more where does my procrastination come from? Why am I doing it in the first place? And what can I do to overcome it? Because ultimately, that's why we're here. We're not here just to look at problems and scratch our heads about it, but it's really about what can we do? How can we see problems as possibilities and opportunities to ultimately grow and empower ourselves? But let's think about first the negative consequences of procrastination, as I just mentioned, because that's one of the things I personally felt really, you know, over time was exactly what happened with me. The more I procrastinated, as I said, medical school or before when I was in high school, I was like a last minute uh, student in many ways. And, and the more I procrastinated, the more I said, oh, you know, I, I know I need to do it, but, uh, let's focus on something else. I don't want to think about it. The more I did this, the more I felt that I somehow felt less confident. The more I felt insecure about myself. The more I noticed that those tasks I haven't done, the things that I just pushed aside became bigger and bigger. And at the end, at some point, they were just feeling too big. And then you feel paralyzed and you don't even want to go there. Now, part of the reason why procrastination is gradually the undermining confidence, gradually getting to you into a state of stress, anxiety, and some studies say even that procrastination can lead to unemployment. The reason is that when you procrastinate, before you have procrastinated, you have made some kind of a decision. You know, you had some kind of an intention like, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply for a, a new job. I'm going to study more or i just going to, you know, go to the gym and get uh, in better shape. All of those kind of good intentions you had. And then again, you got into the avoidance mode, just not wanting to deal with it, not wanting to take care of it, somehow trying to forget about it. Now your mind, especially the deeper part of your mind, is watching you, is watching how you were going back on your word. And if you are going back on your word, that basically means that you cannot be trusted, that you are a person who is just like the contractor who says, I'm going to come tomorrow and doesn't show up for two weeks. You're just like one of those people who says, oh yeah, I'm going to pay you and then the check never arrives. When you say you're going to do something and then you don't, you basically prove to yourself that you are not a person you can have confidence in. And if your word doesn't matter, whose word can matter? This is why procrastination is not just a, a nice little habit that we do, a little self-sabotaging 
thing that, uh, well, we can smile about at times because we find ourselves, you know, eating a pint of ice cream rather than going for a walk like we promised ourselves. But in the end, the bigger problem is that procrastination is holding us back from growing. It's holding us back from building a greater and stronger foundation of self. And it's certainly something that keeps us in many ways small in our lives unfulfilled. So that's now the playing field. That is the issue. When we come back, we will address how we can overcome procrastination and what are the four forms of procrastination and where do they come from in the first place?